Hey guys, it's Caleb with Pave Tool, and today we're here with Ideal Block, uh, laying their Andover collection, and we have a couple different options. We're gonna be doing uh, a hand lay, we're gonna be using some of our vacuum units here, as well as all rounder and multi six, so let's jump into it. Steve are going here uh, with Ideal Block. We're out at uh, Pave Tool today and we're demoing the pad that they designed for us so we're able to uh, lift one set of Andover collection which will allow us to lay it in our herringbone pattern. And it's a three piece so it's got your squares, your, your smaller wrecks and then your larger wrecks. Uh, so basically as you see it this is how it's packaged on a layer um, but what we've been able to do here with this pad is if you want to lay it so you avoid four corners as you're laying uh, your project. Simple flip of the 5511 down to the bottom, square up top. And like I said, this will allow us to avoid four corners as we lay out the project. Essentially, you're laying 3.8 square feet uh, per lift. All right, so now that you've seen that pad, we're going to be putting it on the all-rounder and we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison between the all-rounder by hand and then the multi-six fronting with a guy and a T-handle. It's gonna be time-lapsed, so we're gonna know exactly where we're at time-wise and it'll be exciting to see the results. Three, two, one, go! So here we are, all-rounder first by hand. So the all-rounder you can see is, is keeping up quite a bit. It's a little bit faster than laying by hand. Um, we have one guy on the all-rounder. We have two people laying by hand. So the benefit here, it's twice as fast, if not more. Um, Your obviously fatigue is gonna set in at about 100 square feet, and that's all we're laying today, but you start to lay 200, 300, 400 square feet in a day, and that, that production rate is just gonna tank. Uh, whereas the all-rounder, same speed all day long, he's picking no weight at all, and it's sustainable. It's gonna stay that same. Uh, now we wanna compare kind of the multi six to both of these options. As we see in our time lapse, it's gonna be a lot longer. So in a lot, you mean five minutes for that 100 square feet. So maybe not the best application in a 100 square foot area, but when you're talking larger square foot areas, 100 square feet, plus 200 square feet, 300, 400 square feet. That's when the multi six is gonna come into play. You have one guy comfortable in a machine, barely working, just feeding those paver, pavers over to a guy that's fronting them with the backpack. When the guy with the backpack gets a little bit fatigued, you can swap out with the guy in the machine if those are possibilities or you know the guy's capable of operating and then you're off and running and you're, same, you're keeping that same consistent speed, not only the first day, the second day, the third day, but you're talking over the months and the years that you're laying pavers. How long do you guys wanna be in the industry? You wanna be in it for two years and you're back shot and you're out? Or is it something you wanna be in uh, for a long period of time? That's when you wanna look at time lapses like this. Check out what's out there and the value of some of this equipment. So as we review the three different options, all-rounder, quickest option. It's gonna be the fastest, less fatiguing. Laying by hand, shouldn't be an option anymore. Multi-six, great option, maybe on some larger square footage, but maybe not in this application where you're talking 100 square feet. So in the wrap-up, obviously the all-rounder is an awesome option. Right, and being able to lay just what did you say the layer was? So each, each set's 3.8 square feet, you know. So. Yeah, so 3.8 square feet per pick. Obviously, the benefit of that is one person with a machine over two people with yep. doing it by hand. And I don't know, you guys look a little jealous of them over there. I would say. <laughs> it's a nice employee to have. <laughs> exactly. Yep, and it shows up every, every day. And obviously now, Steve, right, you guys have been working on this pattern for quite some time. Uh, finalizing the details and figuring out a way that you can lay this module system in like a, you know, in a herringbone pattern and, and yet still have the beauty of it. Is there other things that you, or other products that you have in mind or things that you're thinking of in the future or 
Yeah, I mean, from going through this process, really, I mean, we kind of, I mean, it started off that, you know, you had the herringbone pattern, you know, so that way you had enough pieces and being able to lay it in a herringbone formation to avoid, you know, four corners. Obviously, if you look at the pattern that we laid, you know, it's as it came off the pallet to get a fair comparison, you know, between the all-rounder and, you know, by hand. Yeah. The uh, cool thing that you guys did with the all-rounder pad is you're able to switch it. So going forward, we're looking at, you know, switching, you know, one section on the pallet so that way it's opposite of the opposing small rectangle and square. So it'll take away those crosses. Yeah. Where we... Right here, we'll get rid of those four corners yep. that are typically frowned upon, yep. you know, from a design aspect and also, you know, from interlock. Yep. Um, so as we go forward, you know, in developing, you know, the Andover collection more than we already have, that's something that we're looking at doing. So for installers, they're going to make the investment in the all-rounder. Or if it's the, you know, the two-man ergo, you know, where yep. that pad will work on the ergo as well. You yep. know, that's kind of the thing that we're looking at is, is, you know, how can we dial up what we already have? Yep. So that way, you know, it's just a little more efficient for installers. You know, it's an aesthetically pleasing product, you know. Yeah. It's a three-piece, you know, which is a pretty popular product, you know, for ourselves and out in the market. So Good. those are the kind of products we're looking at, you know, and then as we go from there, there's some other products that we'll probably, you know, keep in mind in terms of, you know, machine placement as opposed to, you know, manual labor. Right. And that we, I mean, we've accomplished one. Yep. I think, you know, safe to say we might switch a couple of things here and there, but for the most part, you guys are pretty happy with the way that came out. And I for think sure. in the future, looking towards, you know, newer product or, or product you might be coming out with, or even some of the products you already have, you might be thinking about just rearranging maybe some of the pallets or things like that. Yeah, we're definitely taking a look into, you know, what we already have existing, you know, they obviously have traction. Right, You know, exactly. if there's a way that we can arrange the pallet, you know, whether it be on the packaging end or just even from the start of production. Yep. Um, but that's kind of our outlook is, is what can we do so we can make it a little more efficient uh, for the installer pulling it right from the pallet onto the, you know, final resting point of it. It's good to have companies like yourself looking towards that future because, I, you know, I don't think labor is getting any easy to find and obviously when you have equipment like that, why not, why not utilize it, right? Yeah. As an industry, I think if we work together on those things, you know, there's a lot brighter future for installers. You know, you don't have to get burnt out, you know, in your 40s or 50s, you can install throughout your whole career. Right. You know, with tools that, you know, assist with the installation. Take the heart out of hardscaping. Like really? you said, it's, it's awesome. Thank you guys for watching this week's tip of the week. You've obviously seen the different options that we have to offer um, and you see what's gonna work for you. Different things are at different price points and we understand that and you might not be able to invest in something like the all-rounder, but there's plenty of other options. Again, if you like this week's tip of the week, make sure to like it down below and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and our website, paypool.com.